Hi, it's just me. So, I'm feeling a lot better since, you know, I got up this morning. Side effects are wearing off, I guess. I'm getting used to it. I'm better. So, I got some mail. And, um, I knew this one was coming. Now, this is makeup. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. So, we're going to do this later. Put that aside. And, uh, today I am wearing my Fitbit. I will link this below because it's about 40 bucks, give or take, on Amazon and it does the exact same thing as an actual Fitbit Charge 2, except it's not the name brand, it does all the same stuff. I'll link it below if you're interested. So yes, we're talking about technology, alright? This is my thing. I know a lot of people don't think pretty faces can do this. I've encountered that a lot in my career when it did work in that. It's just kind of comes with the territory, okay? But I do know about technology. The only thing I failed in college was my senior C++ class. And for anybody who knows anything about programming, it's not easy. It's, I mean, I can read it perfectly fine. I just can't write it. I have a hard time with stuff. And then again, when it comes to programming, if you forget a bracket, in like 2,000 lines of code, it's not gonna work. It's that finicky, so I had a hard time. However, everything else I'm pretty good with. So what we're gonna talk about is my phone, my, my new one, the Hawaii, because that's the mail that I got. So yeah, I knew that that makeup thing was coming, but I ordered this, and again, it's it's China and stuff. So through Amazon, however, okay. So I got, I'm I'm backed up by Amazon if this doesn't work. But, you know, there's no tracking number, so it kind of just showed up. And I'm, I'm really happy. So, it is for, for my new Hawaii iPhone. And I know a lot of you are out there are like, well, you just said that you don't have enough money to buy eye drops. I don't, why are you buying stuff? Well, all of these things were bought before June 1st. I'm just waiting for them to come in. And when I did my budget on June 1st, because living on disability, all my money comes in within the span of three days for the first of the month. I have to budget. Well, on the first of the month, I didn't know I needed to get my own cell phone. So that wasn't a plan. That wasn't in the budget. So things kind of got moved around. However, um, I will put another part again about, I found something that does help my eyes through Pinterest. I'm trying to be anti-Pinterest, but it's not working because I, I have to admit that that stuff's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm talking about this. So Hawaii, I knew they were good, okay? It's, when it was offered at Rogers, I knew they were good. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why. Uh, so they've been around for a while, uh, 1987, I believe. Because, yeah, I keep up to date with what's going on with the world of technology and all that whatnot, even though I'm not working in the field anymore. I started uh, this, I took this course in college because my friend Pat, who is in the jungle, my friend Pat, I worked with at Subway. He was he was taking the course and he loved it. He was like, "You're gonna love it. Take it." So my first like week there, I mean, I saw my high heels and my nails and all that kind of stuff, and everybody was like, "Who's this girl?" So there were 64 people that started this course, and 14 of us had finished. Two of us didn't graduate because we missed the same class, but everybody else. So I mean, it is tough. It's one of the hardest courses you can take. Actually, it, it is the hardest thing. Um, but we're not going to go there. I learned and I ended up, you know, figuring out that that is what I, I really like. I, I love it. So, you know, God rest your soul, Pat. That's another story. So, I knew about Hawaii, so I've been keeping up with it. And I knew that they were a brand that was up and coming. I had never heard about them in Canada. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And there's some cool stuff on, on my, my screen here that has to do with them. <clears throat> so they started out again, like I said, 1987, as a private company, pretty much R&D, their research and development, they made cell phone components. They made things that you put into computers. So that's the whole difference. That's why there's a real big difference between anything that's Apple and anything else that's Android or anything else that's a laptop. Apple they make their own stuff for the most part that's why it was a big deal that the iphone x bought their screen from samsung because most of the part 
in history, iPhone or Apple, Mac, I know iMacs, MacBook Pro, whatever, it's all their own components, which is why they are, even though I don't use any of them, I have to admit that they are very well made and their performance is undeniable. Their components are all made by them. So they're all made to work with each other at the optimal thing, their optimal specifications. They have their own operating system. So the quality is better because they don't have to work so hard and whatnot. And when it comes to any other kind of computer in the world, like this one is mine, okay? Let's just look at it. I built it. It's an all-in-one. Uh, it's custom made because I, I was out of college and, and so what I know how to do is to build stuff on a design to build it. That was then some of the things in my mind aren't there. Whatever. It's, it's what it is. Um, but again, if you're buying any kind of computer, unless it's a specific brands as in like Asus, or was it another one that I can't remember? Another hybrid. Everything else that you get. So this one, I mean, is technically a gateway, so it says. Toshiba, whatever you got, pan, whatever. The inside parts are all Acer parts. They're all the exact same thing. So they pick and choose parts, and that was what we had to learn in college as embedded systems, is what parts work with each other. And they're pairing things together that aren't necessarily using the components to their optimal use. Because they're not necessarily made for each other. They're, you know, they do the calculations, which we learned. I mean, my senior project was like this thick of paper. So was everybody else's. Okay, we had to do the calculations and figure that out. Which was great. That was the point. But that's why, you know, it doesn't matter what brand computer you buy unless it's the Asus and the other one. Even Alienware, by the way. Pay a lot of money for an Alienware, you're getting an Acer computer. The inside guts are all Acer computer, most probably with a Toshiba hard drive. They make their own products. Most of this in this phone, the components are theirs. They make their own processors. They belong to them. They made them up. And for a while, they were selling them. You know, and then when they got in the game, they decided to, you know, keep them proprietary. So every other smartphone out there, that's like high caliber, so we're talking like S8, S9, iPhone 8, 10, you know, LG, whatever. They all use the Snapdragon, made by Qualcomm, and Snapdragon keeps getting better and better. Uh, Snapdragon started coming out when I was, you know, leaving college, and it was a big deal for us because it was the first one that could do what it can do. Um, but they all, you know, kind of use the same processor. Hawaii makes their own. Now, they don't have, all the components in their things aren't necessarily theirs. There are some things that they do buy, and but when they buy that other component, the other ones that they have in there, they've made to them, they have made. And they've made them to work optimal with everything. So that the other part they brought in works optimal. So that does make them a little bit cheaper. And they are extremely, like, user-friendly and, and great. I mean, I'm loving this phone. I really am. And the reason why you haven't seen them around much here, and you won't see them in the United States, and I'm going to link that link below, and it's because they come from China. And this isn't, this is not a, a big orange buffoon buddy thing. This is from way before. The American Central Intelligence Agency decided that Huawei and ZGE phones, because they're made in China, and they're super smartphones, okay? They have this thing in the back of their mind where they think that the Chinese people put something in there to spy on people. Now, whether that's true or not, I mean, I don't know. The world of spy stuff these days, who, who knows? I don't know. I just know that I watch a lot of James Bond. I love all of them. So maybe there is... Probably not. Okay, most probably not. They have come out, both companies actually, have made a public statement how they're not trying to spy on people because they're a publicly traded company, you know, they want to make money. Um, but either way, you will not find them in the United States because the government does not want 
these phones in there because they think they're spying. Um, Edward Snowden, have you heard of him? Sorry, we're not going to go any further than that, but you know. So, you know, turn around. Oh, look! It recognized my face. It has facial recognition. It has all the same things. And as for these phones, which is really awesome, is that they're the only cell phone out there that actually improves battery life as you keep using it. Because again, they have some of their own components in there, but they also have their own software, which is this. Now, this software isn't the complete OS because it does run Android OS, like everything else, an OS operating system. Um, but it has this on top of it. And that also has, you know, you know the iPhone 10 thing where they're like, oh, you can take a picture and, and the little emojis will move with your face. You can do that with these. Everything the iPhone's got, these things have. Now, I have the light, so certain things aren't necessarily, you know, there's three versions. There's light, there's the P20 and the P20 Pro. Um, I could only afford this one. However, I knew what it could do, so I was okay with it. Um, but yeah, so they have their own little operating system that works in conjunction with the Android. And in that is embedded, there's this part that monitors your battery. And the more you use your phone, the more this artificial intelligence, I mean, we're going to go there because that's kind of what it is, realizes that there's certain apps that you don't use. They shut them down. And then they also will realize that there's certain apps that you use during certain times of the day and they eventually fit the processor and the battery usage and you know for how you use your phone which is great and the whole thing of like is china spying on me personally i don't care i ain't doing anything that matters to be spied on i mean if they want to watch me make these silly videos and and you know, look at makeup online and go for it. I don't care. Whatever. So this is what came in the mail today. It's a charger. Um, it's a stand-up charge. So the one thing that was, again, I was not prepared to have to buy my own phone. So I had a bunch of wireless chargers. This phone doesn't have wireless charging capability. It doesn't have NFC either, which is, you know, tapping. But this is the case I'm working with because it's an iPhone 8 case that I kind of butchered and to try to get it to stay in. And I'm, I'm running out of tape. I use so much tape for everything that I ran out of tape. But, you know, a dollar store has tape and, you know, you're always rich at the dollar store. So, again, I bought all this stuff before I knew that budget was going to change. However, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I still figure things out. Um, but it doesn't have wireless charging and it also has a USB-C charger, which is highly unusual for a mid-range smartphone. Now, this is what a USB, I hope you can see it, USB charger C looks like. It's, let's see, put my hand behind it and you can see it. So what that means compared to this is what, you know, the other USB these look like. I don't know if you can see this one. Let's see. There you go. See the shape? Anybody who actually owns um, any kind of Samsung or Android will understand what I mean with the shape. But a USB-C shape. You can't put it in backwards. Doesn't matter which way you put it in. It's going to work. It'll fit this way. And if I flip it around... It'll also fit that way. Finally, foolproof USB stuff, okay? If we can just get the other end, whatever. Let's celebrate the little victories, okay? So, I'm going to show you um, what I got for the stand-up. This is what it is. It's a, a stand-up charger, which is what I wanted. And, but before we go there, I need to explain a little quick thing when it comes to chargers, because this charger did not come with the adapter. You can buy whatever one you want. Now, yes, you should use the one that comes with your phone. Um, don't buy the cheap ones. Again, there's a reason why you shouldn't buy cheap ones, because yes, they can catch on fire. Um, but if you're gonna buy one, you know, 
get a good brand like ten dollars or more is usually a good brand again it has to have these safeties this is why i'm not worried about this particular charger because it has the safeties that i need the rls and again if you are found to be putting these certifications on any kind of electronics and they have not passed that certification the consequences are so high they are actual consequences that people actually are caring about it's not good they, they don't usually fake them so trusting it but when it comes to the blocks um they it'll be written on the package but for any kind of smartphone like samsung s7 up you know lg all those higher ones you need to have a fast charging 2 amp 9 volt Yes, it only gives you five volts. You know, this is why it's kind of a big, there's circuitry in there. And a lot of people are like, you know, I don't like leaving my phone overnight, whatnot. You can, okay? Yes, there's things where they caught on fire and blew up. When you think about the amount and the number of smartphones out there in the world and how many of them actually caught on fire, well, there it's like the 0.1%. I mean, it happens. But most of the time, it's the fact that your cord is frayed. Now, this one is not frayed. This one actually kind of lights up when you plug it in because I'm a nerd. But when this part gets frayed, like, that's where it gets dangerous. Wires can touch. If they touch anything else that's metal, whatever. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say about that. But the other part that I want to go into is yes your phone can charge all night there is something in there because the first smartphones didn't always have them they do now it, it's standard it has been for a while there is a special little circuit tied to the battery that has these things called capacitors in them capacitors are great things they rule the world and if we can get you know double okay we're not going to go there because it's two big words in a little circuitry in your phone to protect your battery, there's a capacitor, and that's the main component, but there's other things. It's a tiny little circuit thing that once your battery reaches 100%, it no longer draws any kind of current, any kind of voltage, nothing from that cord that it's plugged into. So if it's 100% and your phone is plugged in, nothing's happening. Nothing is flowing to it. You're fine. So for those of you who did know, now you do. So let's go back with my little thing. So it's a USB-C, which is, again, so let's just see if it works. All right, so we're here on my desk, and um, yeah, I've still got some tummy to, to lose. It's, it's not the end of the world, right? I'm cool with that. Body positive, let's do it. So this is the stand, this is the phone. Let's see if it works. <gasps> It does! Isn't that cute? Now, there's other awesome things with this Hawaii, the fact that there is a fingerprint sensor on the back. Let's see if you can see it without flipping the phone around. There's a fingerprint sensor right there. And even though it has, you know, facial recognition, so it has facial recognition, it does. But even if you, you know, you still have the fingerprint. You can unlock everything with the fingerprint. There's also a part called private space where you can have another password on the side. So, you know, one, you can store naughty things in there if you want to, which is probably where I'm going to go. We're not going to lie. Or you can set up, like, you know, the ones, all of you that have kids out there, your kid always wants to play on your cell phone. And sometimes... You kind of have to let them because maybe you're like, you know, waiting to see the doctor because he's got an ear infection or something, you know, and they, you need to keep them occupied. You can set up that private space for just the game so that your kids can't access, you know, bank accounts, things like that. That would be, an, that's another part where you can use it for. So, all right. So here's a phone while it's charging. Is it going to recognize my face? No, it doesn't. But wait, I need to do this. Ah! Yep, it did. So I, I have it set. 
So I have it set that um, it will open if I flip it up and then it turns on and recognizes my face. So it did. So I can use my phone while it's charging. That That's great. And uh, I got like six notifications from Cora because uh, apparently they, they really like me there. And Hawaii made their own laptop called the MateBook Pro X and they're comparing it to the MacBook Pro. So I'm saying they're rivaling Apple. They really are. Now, this is not available here at all. So price-wise, they can't do a price-wise in this comparison, but I will link to this site below, obviously, because it's not available here, so we don't know what the prices are. But it is out in China, so they can test everything. So they compare all the specs. Now, I'm a nerd. I can read them. Yeah. And then they go through different things. So when it goes to design, the winner, Thai. Performance, the winner is the Hawaii Mac MateBook Pro. The Hawaii wins for performance over the MacBook Pro. Keyboard, mouse, and pen, they were a tie. Connectivity, winner, Hawaii MateBook Pro. Display, winner, Hawaii. Portability and battery life, winner, tie. Availability, availability and price. Okay, I can't say that word. Whatever. Then this one we can't really go there because we don't know how much it would be in. Um. So I found the price. And by the way, that little charger that I just got—that's pretty wicked awesome. Was eleven dollars and ninety cents Canadian off of Amazon. So yes, it was a third party seller that sold it to me from China. However, it's backed up by the protection of Amazon. So PayPal, I've said goodbye to you. Amazon, we're cool. So you can buy the Hawaii MateBook X Pro in Canada. It's about 1,500, so 1,500 bucks plus tax Canadian. However, the rivaling MacBook Pro who, as per, you know, it's your choice, but it's around 2500 to 3000 depending on which one you want. Your choice. Do whatever you want. That was my review. Or, I don't know. That was just me talking about my phone and how I like it and how the things are coming together. And nerding out a little bit.